hi guys welcome back to this week's in the kitchen today we'll be making brown stewed beef tongue or cow tongue whichever way you like to put it I've washed the cow tongue with some vinegar and here I'm just cutting it off keep in mind that some of these cow tongues come with a film over it so you'll have to put it in hot water to boil a little and then strip it off and I put mine to boil like 25 minutes and then I strip the tongue um, strip the film from the tongue the back of the tongue and um, that big part that you're looking at now may have little fats that you want to take off so I'm just cutting off the fat that I don't want and I continue to cut these in small um, cubes um, some may be a little bigger than some it doesn't really matter After I got done cutting them up, I washed again. I just ran cold water over them and washed it thoroughly again, trying to rinse off the vinegar residue. Remember, I washed it with vinegar before I cut it. I drained the water off and added my seasoning. And of course, I had to use a lot of garlic. I added my garlic, added my some pimento seeds, I crushed some and add some oil and then I added all my seasoning, my creole and my mustache salt free seasoning and I added a little salt. You may see me using two different bottles of creole seasoning but like I always say um, when my when my mustache are like almost gone I'll just add them to that bottle so I don't have a whole lot of bottling storage. So it's still mustache that's in one of the creole bottle and one has creole seasoning. Of course I have to have my crushed pepper, I added some chili pepper and I have some onion chopped up and some jalapenos and I'll just go ahead and add all of those and stir it up carefully and set it to marinate. I marinated the day before so I seasoned this I think on Sunday and I cooked it Monday so it was real nice and ready all I did after I seasoned I just put a ziplock bag over it and then put the cover on it and left it in the fridge so it could soak properly So now I'm getting ready to cook. I turn the stove on high, I throw some pimento seeds in there, I add a little olive oil and I added some garlic and a spoon of sugar. And the sugar is to make it brown. I have browning but I really don't like using browning. I don't like my thing um, that dark so I just use some brown sugar to create my own browning. So I put, put the brown sugar in the oil with the garlic and I just stir and uh, kind of mash the grains out until it gets dark so you can just watch and see how dark it will get you notice it's smoking but you can't leave this unattended because you don't want to burn down the place and then I added my meat to it 
After I added the meat, I stir thoroughly and make sure every piece, I made sure every piece of um, meat got brown, got some little other brown sugar color, and that's what I do. And then I added some water to that and covered it down. I left this on high to cook for about an hour and 20 minutes that's how long it took and you can pressure this if you want to guy but I didn't pressure it I hate pressuring so I just left it on high to cook I'm checking on it stirring occasionally and adding water then I added a little ketchup to it and by this time it was cooking for like an hour and I added a little ketchup, I just put some ketchup in a dish, added some water, stir it out, and then added the ketchup to my pot. After cooking on high for about 5 minutes after adding the ketchup, I added some buttered bean. It's just a can of butter bean. I opened it, drained it, and added the butter bean to the pot. So you can watch me stir it up and you'll see the butter bean. I think I lost that clip where I added it or I probably just didn't video that part. But I added the butter bean and just lay, left it sit for about another 10-15 minutes. When I added the butter bean, I added some more onion because the onion that I added at first was all cooked out. So I added more onions. And this is the finished product just served with some tomato and some basmati rice. I hope you guys will try it. Hope you like it. And let me know if you try it. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks.